If you are a public service worker and paid into Social Security at any point, if you moonlighted as a teacher in Georgia and paid into Social Security, you want to hear this because when you retire, you won't get your full Social Security. The windfall elimination provision is the reason why we are not getting what we deserve. Hi, I am Verdelia Turner and this is Georgia Now. I am holding a cylinder of money. It's real money. It's not play money. Now you see it. Now you see it. Of course, now you don't. That's not magic, but it's tragic if I take this money and keep it and if it's not mine. Well, over 2.5 million teachers and public service workers in 15 of our United States earn Social Security benefits, but their benefits are cut back or eliminated if they have earned and paid into a state pension. Mind you, these benefits have been fairly earned by government workers and the beneficiaries of these workers who often work two jobs are also penalized. It's called the Windfall Elimination Provision and it's been around since about 1984. In 15 of our states, including Georgia, and I love Georgia, <laughs> policemen, firefighters, postal workers, air traffic controllers, federal employees, all hired before 1983, and some other states, county, local, and special district workers are penalized if they are getting a state pension. Now, you know, even a foreign pension can reduce or eliminate Social Security benefits. This isn't a Southern thing either. California, Colorado, Rhode Island, Ohio, Illinois, Connecticut, they, they, they are under these same crazy rules. And as people move from state to state, they are affected. So it just so happens that the folk who are hurt the most are low and middle income retirees. No wonder we have teachers living in poverty. Parapro teachers, just like teachers, have to work 30 long years. And then when they experience re retirement, their salaries, let's say a pair of pro tops out at $45,000 a year, even if it was 50. They only get 60% of that. And that 60% of that $45,000 is taxed. Out of that, they pay some of their medical benefits and visual and dental benefits don't even exist for teachers. Did you know that? Or for most public service workers. Now, opponents call it double dipping if public servants who double dip and do more than eight hours a day, they double dip there when they're serving, right? Okay, that's another subject. But opponents call it double dipping if public servants who have earned the benefits, who are lower or middle class people now, if they receive their full Social Security. Wow. And we have a teacher shortage policeman shortage, postal worker shortage, and more, and we wonder why. Hmm. Most folk don't even know that this provision exists until it's time to retire. I remember when I was 21, the day before yesterday, <laughs> and the principal started talking about retirement. I had even earned my first check. I didn't even want to hear that, but now I'm there. H.R. 82 will be coming to the floor of Congress to appeal the windfall elimination provision. And below, you're going to see every congressman and congresswoman of Georgia's phone number listed. We want you to ring up the world, share this video with all of your social media, tell folk to get mad and stay mad in a righteous manner. So guess what? Now you see it. And it's not magic. It takes Congress to vote it through. Help us do away with the windfall, unfair elimination provision. I love my relatives. I love me. I love teachers. I love the public employees who have served us. And we know how important they are. 
I love Georgia. Help us love Georgia. And you can do that by loving each other. Call those congressmen. You have the power. Tell your neighbors to do it. All your organizations to do it. And let's do away with the windfall elimination provision. Thank you. Greetings. I'm Congressman Sanford Bishop, and I represent the Second District of Georgia in the United States House of Representatives, including Middle and Southwest Georgia. I'd like to extend my warmest greetings to Verdalia Turner and all of the teachers across Georgia. Each and every one of you work hard every day and many long nights and weekends to educate and inspire our future generations. I salute your dedication to this calling, which is so important to our country's well-being, innovation, and success. Today I want to talk with you about the windfall elimination provision. You might not have heard of this, or maybe you just found out about it recently as you prepare for retirement. But this is an outdated provision of Social Security that unfairly punishes teachers and other public servants when it comes to your retirement income. How does it do this? While most of you are covered by your employer's pension program, you may not realize that you don't also pay into Social Security through payroll deductions. For those of you who work summer jobs, tutor in the evenings, or are on a second or third career, when you finally reach your golden years, you may see a reduction in your Social Security benefits for the simple reason that you paid into the Teachers Retirement System of Georgia. That's all it takes to cut into your monthly benefit, and that's simply not fair. While the law is designed to prevent a windfall, from Social Security's progressive benefits calculation, the current formula that dates back to 1983 is shown to be imprecise and penalizes the vast majority of people to whom it applies. I'm working hard in Congress with my colleagues to do something about this. I've been fighting for Social Security fairness for more than two decades, and we are now on the cusp of success. H.R. 82, the Social Security Fairness Act of 2021, which I proudly co-sponsored, has the support of two-thirds of the House of Representatives. It would permanently fix this disparity by repealing the windfall elimination provision. Because we've been able to convince so many of our colleagues to join the effort, for the first time ever, this legislation has been added to the consensus calendar which means it's on a fast track for a vote in the House of Representatives. I hope to see this happen before the end of the year, and I'll urge my colleagues in the Senate to help us get this across the finish line by approving it as well. In Congress, we are here to represent our communities and serve their best interests. An important part of that process is hearing from constituents as we work on these important issues. Be loud, and be heard. Let your U.S. Representative and both of your United States Senators know just how you feel about the windfall elimination provision. Thank you all for continuing to do the hard work that you do, and welcome back to the new school year.